Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be my Shop My Stash video. If you're new to these videos on my channel, I basically go through my entire makeup collection and choose just a few products to use. I only use the products that I choose during the week and then on the weekends I kind of have free reign for the rest of my collection. I find this works really well for me because I don't get bored of the things in the Shop My Stash or basket because I'm only using them Monday through Friday. It makes my getting ready time a lot slimmer in the morning for getting ready for work. So it's just a little bit easier for me, but on the weekends I can kind of use my creativity and really reach for whatever I want to. So I don't really tend to go for extremely bright or fun colors, especially in eyeshadow during this kind of a video, just because it's not realistic for me to wear during the work week. But that's kind of how I do my shot my stash videos. So if you're new to my channel, that's kind of the overview here. But I did want to start out by talking about the two palettes that I had in the rotation for the last few weeks. I had the Hanging in Hawaii palette from BH Cosmetics and then the Cartagena palette from Nomad. And I actually really liked having both of these in rotation. I feel like I got to use them a lot more than I have before. And I really liked reaching for them, especially together. They made a really good combo because I really like the two shades from the Nomad palette that are right here. I love these two matte shades. I think that they're very pretty for every day. And they're really nice for the summer going into the fall as well. Also, I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to have to make this a little bit of a quicker video, I think. But I liked having this Hanging in Hawaii palette because it's a little bit more neutral, so it paired nicely with a little bit more of a colorful palette. But that being said, in my last video, I think I mentioned that I was thinking about using the two of these palettes in my next rotation. So this is the Natasha Denona Glam palette and then the Huda New Nude palette. And I'm still feeling like these would be really good for fall. However, since filming the last one, I did receive this one in PR from Natasha Denona. It's the My Dream palette. And while I kind of want to leave all three in, I actually think I'm going to still try and narrow it down to two. I think I might wait on this one, the Glam palette, just because it is a little bit more like a cool tone and a little bit more wintry. And I don't think I'm quite itching to use these shades yet. Even though I love this palette, I do use it every now and then. But I'm actually thinking I'm going to go for the two of these because even though when you hold them up, they look definitely more similar to one another than the Glam palette. The Glam palette would definitely give me more variety between this and the Huda palette. But I really have been enjoying the My Dream palette. So I just really feel like I would enjoy using this. And it also doesn't always lean pink because you can use shades like Nurture or even Familia. And especially some of these shimmer shades are going to be a little bit more similar to what the Glam palette would be. So I know I've got really good everyday options. And I really just don't think I want to have more than two palettes in my shop mustache or my makeup basket. Just because it leads for more decisions to make in the morning. <laughs> and I really just like a little bit more simplicity. So I think I'm gonna reach for these. I really feel like they both scream fall to me. I love both of these palettes. I've really, really been enjoying this one from Natasha Denona. I will say though, if I don't prime my eyelids, this will crease on me. I've noticed it about three times that I've used it without priming, it will crease. But if I prime my eyelids first, it won't crease. And even if I use a concealer and then set it down, it will still crease. So that's something to keep in mind about this formula. I don't always have that problem, but sometimes I do. And I do notice this one about five, maybe six hours into the day, it will have creased on me. So these are the two palettes that I'm going to bring in. And I'm going to keep that in mind while I pick the rest of the products. Don't worry though, the Glam palette I'm sure will be in a rotation soon because I do really love this palette. And I can definitely see myself wanting to reach for it as it gets even colder outside. I also use this makeup basket. Last time, it's just a makeup bag that I kind of leave open as my basket. My makeup looks a little bit different. I don't like this. As you can tell, they're kind of like falling over. It just doesn't, I don't think it like holds it well enough, but that's just kind of how my foundation is being stored right now. But I'm going to put all the products in this bag so that on the weekend, I can just kind of scoot this to the other side of the vanity and then reach for everything else. But I want to go ahead and just kind of pick my other products. I want to bring in the Huda water jelly. I really want to finish this up just because I barely have anything left in it. It's already all the way down to here. I really don't like the packaging of this. You can see, let me move this. You can see how there's like an outer casing of plastic and it's really a lot. So you're, the actual product is so minute in here and I really just wish this was less bulky, but yeah, I really want to go ahead and use this up because it's already almost gone anyways. I'm also still working on this 
SPF. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Face Sunscreen. I actually really enjoy this. So I'm kind of just gonna work in the order of how I put my makeup on. So for foundation, I actually repurchased this Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation. I've got this in the shade Fair 01 if you were curious, but sometimes I wanna use this in the morning and then sometimes I don't because just kind of depending on what I'm going for, I want a liquid product, especially if I wanna use cream cheek products. So I do actually think I will reach for this, but I'm gonna be leaving it right here on my vanity and not in the basket, but it'll loosely be in the basket. I also recently picked up this Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation, but I don't know that I want to bring this in just because it's so full coverage that I don't always want that. I've just been using it as a pump, but that's pretty cool how you can use it for a concealer. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to bring in the Koki HD. This is the Skin Perfect Foundation. I really like this one, especially for every day. Yeah, I think I'm not going to bring the Pure one in because... I've just been using it more, I guess, on the weekends. But I am actually going to bring in the Ilia Skin Tint because I actually think I might be allergic to this, unfortunately. I've noticed the last couple times I've used it that while I'm blending it out on my face, my face will kind of feel a little bit itchy. And that occasionally happens when I put makeup on my neck, like bronzer or something, but it typically doesn't happen on my face. So I haven't used this in over a week and I wanna try it again over the next couple of weeks to see if it is breaking me out or like, it's not breaking me out, but it's making my face itch. <laughs> like once the foundation would set, it wouldn't itch anymore. But like as I'm blending it in and as it's kind of setting while I do the rest of my makeup, it just itches. So if that's the case, I need to figure out if there's someone I can give this to because I don't want to use it if it's irritating my skin. So I'm gonna bring this in as well as the Koki foundation, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is bothering my skin. Okay. For concealer, for concealer, I think I'll just bring in my Koki concealer. This is the Be Bright one in the shade Fair. I guess if you're wondering, I have the Ilia one in the shade, is it ST1? Yeah, I think so. I think I have it in Rendezvous is the shade of this one. And in the Koki one, I have the shade 10C. And I like all the shades of everything I'm sharing. This one's pretty good too. It's in the shade Fair. But I'm going to bring in that concealer. And then for a powder, I'm just going to bring in this one from CoverGirl. It's just their Clean Fresh Press Powder. It's just really quick for me to use, so I'm going to bring that in. I haven't used this face palette in a while, and I love face palettes for Shop My Stashes just because it's a one-stop shop. I've got my bronzer, blush, and highlight. This is from the Lip Bar, and I have mine in Go Off, which is the lightest quad. I've already used up the face palette, unfortunately, but I'm actually kind of wondering and considering if I should repress this into here so I can have a full palette again. I think that I would really like that. So I'm considering doing that, but yeah, I think I will bring in this face palette for my cheek options. As much as I want to bring in cream products, I know I'm not likely to reach for them. I've been loving this Oma stick, but I use this more on the weekends when I want to kind of play around with my makeup and take more time to do it. But I will bring in this product from Burt's Bees. This is the Luminizer. I have mine in Starlight. This can be a liquid highlight, but I've been really liking putting it underneath foundation, kind of where you'd normally put highlight, but adding probably more than you would if you're putting it over foundation. It just gives a really nice glow to the skin. So I think I will actually bring that in. I think I'd like it with the foundations that I chose. Okay, this is a little tin where I keep some everyday products that I reach for all the time. I currently have my three go-to brow products. If I'm in a really big hurry, I'll use the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I have this one in Brunette. And it's just very quick and easy. But if I have a little bit of time, I like to use this combo. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch in Ash Brown and the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. And I think this looks a little bit better in my brows and more kind of put together. But I don't always want to take the time to do that. So I'm going to leave all three in the jar. I'm also going to bring in the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer because I want to see if this is something I want to get rid of or not. I haven't been very impressed with it, so I think I'll try and give it another shot. I'm kind of using this rotation to try some things that I'm not so sure about, like the Ilia Skin Tint and then this concealer, but I'll kind of mix them with products that I know I like just to sort of test them better. But I also want to bring in this NYX Eyelid Primer for the same reason. This is the Shadow and Liner Primer. I really like that it has a doe foot, but I've noticed several things creasing on me, so especially since I know this eyeshadow pretty well, especially the Huda one, I want to test it out. And I know that the Natasha Denona one will crease on me without being set. 
So I think that actually would be a pretty good test to see how this works because even my CoverGirl lid lock primer, which isn't always my favorite, doesn't, like it, it makes this not crease. So it works really well for that eyeshadow formula. So I think this would be a good time to test it out. And I want to just bring that in because if I bring in any other ones, I feel like I won't reach for them. So I'm going to just bring this in. But if I use it for several days in a row and I don't like it, then I can always just bring something else in and I'll be sure to keep you posted on my channel about that. And then of course I'm going to bring in my NYX glitter glue, which by the way, if you guys have any alternatives, let me know. This one's relatively full and it's already leaking from the side. That didn't happen in my last one until it was almost empty. So I'm pretty disappointed by that. Like when you squeeze it out, it also is kind of coming out right here by the threads for the lid to go on. So that's just a little bit annoying. But let me know if you have any alternatives for that because I, I am a, not a fan of packaging. That's awful. For mascara, I actually opened this one recently. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all time and I missed it. So I finally picked up another one and I just recently opened it. So I'm going to bring this in. I've got a lot of mascaras open right now, but I don't even care. I love this one. Even though the lid on mine I think is a little bit weird. Like it's not actually on there. So I'm a little worried that it's going to dry out quickly. Um, I don't know. I think it might be broken actually. Oh my gosh, it is broken. Yeah, the little piece in here is broken. So that sucks. It's like totally snapped right there. So I feel like it's actually going to dry out really quickly. I think I actually might reach out to Sephora and see if they can send me a replacement for this because I think that's going to go bad really quick. We'll see what they say on that. But I'll use that for now. This is a pretty expensive mascara, so I don't want it to dry out quickly. For lips, I'm going to bring in these two lip liners. This is the NYX Nude Suede Shoes. And then Rimmel. This is in the shade, I don't know, Rose Addiction. So those are going to be my two lip liners. I'm going to bring in two lipsticks. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and the Ulta Beauty Social Status in the shade 332. I actually picked up two new shades of this lipstick, so I think I'll probably use them too. But they're currently in my purse, so we'll see. Um, I'm also going to use this lip crayon from Ulta Beauty. This is their Velvet Matte Lip Crayon. I got it free with purchase, so I really don't know what shade it is. But it's a really nice kind of berry color. So I think I'll try and use that a couple times. And then I'll also bring in the Natasha Denona gloss. This one was also in the My Dream collection. It's just called Natasha, I believe, but it's really pretty. So I want to use that. I think I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray just because I haven't really, I don't know. I don't really love this one. I feel like I used to really like it, but I feel like since then I've tried a lot better ones. So I kind of want to see if I can just get some good use out of this one and maybe reuse the packaging for another setting spray. So I'll bring that in. I think that might be everything. Um, the likelihood of me using eyeliner is just like not, not very strong. So if I want to, I'll just reach for one. Oh, you know what? I actually will bring in this. I might use it. I might not. We'll see. But I'm going to put it in a bag. Maybe I'll remember. This was just a little like oil sample from Natasha Denona. It is the Skin Glass Primer Serum, so I might try that. I don't know, I might use it like on a weekend or something, but I'll bring that in just because I already had forgotten about it and I just saw it, so maybe that will help me remember to use it. But I think that's going to be everything I bring into the rotation this time. It actually feels like not a lot, but I would typically kind of bring in more options, maybe some like cream or liquid cheek products, but I honestly just really want to use this face palette, and I know when I bring a face palette in, I'm just so much less likely to use single products. I'm also kind of thinking about how I sort of want to bring in some single shadows, but I actually placed an order for a couple single shadows that should be in relatively soon during this rotation at least. So I want to just be able to use those when they come in. And I think both of them will actually pair really, really nicely with these two palettes also. So yeah, that's going to be it for this Shop My Stash rotation. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below what you think about the products that I selected. And if you want to see a get ready video where I use all of these, I like to do those separate. I don't really like to put them like at the end of this video. I don't know, maybe one time I'll try it, but I like this just to be like the style. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.